Ahoy there, my children of the Force. Star Wars Celebration is in full swing and man oh man is there some news to discuss. During Lucasfilm Studio Showcase at Celebration today, Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy announced that three new live-action Star Wars films are in the early phases of development. Now, before we dive into these films, while I'm beyond excited, I've learned to become trepidatious when it comes to new Star Wars films being announced because we've had multiple instances where a film or trilogy was announced only for to get scrapped. With that said, let's discuss each film in order of the Star Wars timeline. Starting off with the film I was least expecting to be made, we'll be getting a film that will dive into the earliest era of Star Wars and will focus on the dawn of the Jedi. James Mangold is tapped to direct the film and will be exploring the birth of the Jedi, which will take place thousands of years prior to the events of the Skywalker saga. Mangold stated that he was inspired by biblical epics and where the Force comes from. The potential for this film is massive and I could totally see this story playing out over the course of multiple films. With the dawn of the Jedi Order, we could potentially explore the Hundred Year Darkness, which was a period of time that led to the formation of the Sith, where the Jedi and the first Sith were at war with each other. We could also potentially see the Dai Bendu, which were a religious group that would become the precursors of the Jedi. There is so much potential for where this type of story can go, and because of that, this is the film I'm most excited about. I'm clamoring to see a live action story where there are a large number of Sith that are at war with the Jedi, and maybe this Mangold film could be where we get to see that. Mangold has directed Logan, which is such a great film, as well as Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, so I'm feeling optimistic that this film is in good hands. I am very, very intrigued by this announcement. The Legends Dawn of the Jedi comic series takes place roughly 25,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, so fans have at least a little idea of what that time period looks like. I'd be okay with Mangold not pulling from that comic, it's not my favorite thing, but it's alright. The next film that was announced will come from our homeboy Dave Filoni. Filoni will focus on the new Republic, and will close out the interconnected stories told in The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, etc., and Filoni stated that the film will include an epic battle that will change the course of the timeline. In the Ahsoka trailer that also dropped today, we hear Ahsoka state that Thrawn is the heir to the Empire and everything has been pointing to Lucasfilm setting up the New Republic storyline that's essentially mirroring Timothy Zahn's Legends Thrawn trilogy. I'd wager that a lot of beats from that story will play out in all of these live-action Disney Plus series, and Filoni's film cap it all off will probably be taking plotline from Zahn's trilogy as well. I'm very excited about this because the Legends Thrawn trilogy is pretty dope and I look at this as a win-win for Lucasfilm. Pull the main plot points from that Legends trilogy and Legends fans will be super pumped. Create an exciting story for Star Wars fans that haven't read that trilogy and I think people will also be pumped. It seems like an almost slam dunk for me so I'm very cautiously optimistic about this announcement. Of all the films announced, this is the one I'm most confident will be made. The last film that was announced will be directed by award-winning director Sharmin Abad Chinoy. This film will be set after the events of The Rise of Skywalker and will feature Daisy Ridley reprise her role as Rey as a Jedi Master building a new Jedi Order. I'm sure people are losing their minds about this announcement, but I'm totally down for this. I'd love to see Rey building up the Jedi Order and I'm curious to see who the main threat would be in this film. The Sith and the Sith Eternal are both destroyed, so I'm unsure who would be Rey's adversary. Nevertheless, I'm intrigued by where this film could go. I hope that John Boy Boyega is able to return as Finn and that we get to see him train with Rey. That would be really great to see and I think many fans would be excited to see Finn as a Jedi. In addition to this, we also got a first look at the trailer for the Acolyte and Ahsoka, which both look incredible. Ahsoka will drop this coming August, which oh my god, I cannot wait, and the Acolyte will drop at some point in 2024. We also got word that Andor will begin filming this August and is set to drop sometime in the summer of 2024, and Skeleton Crew will drop sometime this year which I'm thinking will be at some time at the end of the fall or maybe in December. Talk about some great news and announcements to wake up to today. I think I'll be doing a stream later today breaking down the Ahsoka trailer, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm sure there's going to be some other cool bits of news or information that will continue to drop as the weekend progresses, which is going to be dope. I'm very cautiously optimistic about these new film announcements, and I'm pumped as hell for the release of all these live-action Disney Plus series. I'm sure there's going to be people foaming out of the mouth and irate about these announcements, especially with the announcement of a new film with Rey. But I'm not going to let those people rain on my parade. I'm freaking pumped and so excited for the future of Star Wars. What a time to be a Star Wars fan. But what's your thoughts? Which new Star Wars film are you most excited for? And what's your thoughts on Ahsoka and the Acolyte? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on TikTok at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.